Victoria. And our next dance is the dramatic Paso Doble from Spain. And this time, Gregor, switch back into this commanding, dominating dance. Yes, again now you can see um, the strength of the matador coming through on the gentleman's dancing and the ability that these two people have of performing uh, such quick and accurate steps with such ease is quite remarkable. So many of the dances, it seems that the, the man's job is to show off the lady, but here, really, the, the man is the dominant attraction. Well done. That's the exact role that we're depicting in the, in the Paso Doble here. It's the man's dance. He is the matador, and um, he is basically powering over his woman. But if you can see here, in return, the woman is very, very powerful in return. She's not as soft or as cheeky as she would be in the Rambo or the Cha-Cha. Torres and Kramsky for Germany. How are they going now? Well, I'm not entirely convinced that Michael is dancing strongly enough. There, there seems, there appears to be a, a certain amount of uncertainty here. That he could really expand more and fill the room with this particular dance. It's just a little bit too small. Kramsky for Germany, taking us out of the Paso Doble. And now we await the marks. They'll be looking to go a little better, of course, than they did in the Rumba. They were surprisingly in fifth place then. Let's see how they go in the Paso. Well, another first place for the Belgians. No stopping them now. Skufka and Venturini ahead of Timokin and Bezikova. And in the bottom half, Kochi and Wilkinson, Italy, fourth, ahead of Germany and Denmark.